did it! Come on, Beth, let's get out of here. The plane's coming. George must have gotten the satellite phone to work. Both you guys are amazing. George! Hey, George! <laughs> Aww, it's a happy ending. Not only had George called the float plane company, but she'd contacted the U.S. Coast Guard and the police in Nassau, San Juan, Miami, and Havana. She even called the FBI, but they put her on hold. Anyway, while Bess and George waited for the authorities, I talked the float plane pilot into taking me up so we could search for Dwayne from the air. We soon spotted his boat about three miles from shore and radioed it in. But when they boarded the boat, the police found it empty. Was the boat just a decoy? Did Dwayne meet up with someone and make his getaway in a boat I wouldn't recognize? Or did he, while gloating over the map, accidentally fall overboard and drown? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone will ever know for sure. I, of course, turned the treasure chest Bess and I found over to the authorities. But almost immediately, the Bahamian and Spanish governments were at loggerheads, arguing over which country had the legal right to claim the treasure as theirs. It soon became yet another mystery that may never be solved. Let's just hope Alejandro Del Rio doesn't get involved. Otherwise, it could take a long time. As for the Gibsons, they'd been at a week-long family reunion in North Dakota and were mystified upon their return to find the resort overrun with police, government agents, and reporters. They didn't have a clue what had gone on in their absence. But they were happy about all the publicity Dwayne's escapade had generated, and offered to let Bess, George, and me continue to stay on for a real free vacation. But we all said, no, thank you. The only thing that sounded good to any of us after what we'd just been through was good old boring home. All right. So that's the end of the game, and after the game is over, you get a trivia question. Uh, the trivia question is different each time you play the game, and after that, we have a preview for the next game. Something sinister has been set loose at Waverly Academy. Uh-oh. known only as the Black Cat, is terrorizing students, sending them strange notes, which are always followed by frightening accidents. The only way to unravel the mystery is to go undercover as a transfer student and enter the world of clicks and gossip that rules life at this exclusive all-girls boarding school. Help me uncover Waverly's centuries-old secrets and avoid becoming the Black Cat's next victim by joining me in my next adventure, Warnings at Waverly Academy. All right, so that's the next game, and these are the ending credits. Thanks to all of you for watching, and thanks to all these wonderful people here in the end credits for making such a great game. You know, Nancy Drew, Ransom of the Seven Ships, is truly more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Stick around for uh, a bunch of bloopers after the end credits. If you get all the various stars in the game, all the awards, all the stars, you get to see all of the various bloopers at the end of the game. I know you just saw how I got all the awards earlier on in the video, but it says here that I didn't get any. Just ignore that. I'm going to show you all the bloopers, but I just had trouble recording all the credits and the bloopers at the same time, so I had to use two different games, one to record the credits and one to record the bloopers. Got it? Here's the cast, Lanny Manella as Nancy Drew, Cuckoo the Parrot, and the Monkeys. Jonah Von Spricken is Johnny Roll. You could kind of tell it was him. He reused the voice that he did for Andy Jason and Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. Not sure who some of the other people in the credits are, like Roy McGuffin in Kidnapper 1 and Kidnapper 2. These are all the uh, special thanks. And I guess that means this is the end of the end credits, so this should be the end of the video. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video walkthrough, and right after this, we'll see the bloopers.
this one. The action. Hey, got a joke for you. A priest, a rabbi, and a teenage detective were in this boat. Okay, okay. I've heard enough. Party pooper.